Hello house lovers, another glorious day in front of the glorious Bon Accord house. But house lovers, before we go inside, a quick segue to the shrubbery. Ta-da, my mulchy peas have all died down. We managed to get about four crops of peas from those with no love, can you believe it? And this cycle of birth and death leads me to our next story. Mmm, house lovers, the cycle of life, birth, death, rebirth, renewal, a metaphor for the house perhaps. Which brings us quite neatly to the former Stinky Kitchen. Yes, house lovers, last week here in the former Stinky Kitchen, I made a discovery. Let's just say it was murder on the dance floor. Hmm, house lovers, so in my partition removal and the taking up of the masonite flooring, I made a discovery. Now, underneath the floor here, there is the tiniest of macabre discoveries. Behold, skeletal remains. Now these were sitting just on top of the soil, just underneath the floorboard, so they weren't buried. And I have asked doctors, and I have asked vets for their opinion. Everyone is non-committal. Now before I should call the police and just see if they're human, which oh, I don't even want to think about, I'm pretty sure it's an animal, maybe a possum, maybe something, because it's just lying on the top of the soil, something that got trapped, something that died. But what I am going to do is have a look under the floorboards that are remaining and see if I can find a skull, because that will reveal the species. I am convinced slash hoping slash wanting that it is some sort of animal. Of course it is. I'm not sure about murder on the dance floor, but it certainly is an abattoir's worth of bones and animal detritus under here. Here we have exhibit A, our rodent nest, and the only skulls that I found. Rattus, rattus, or mousus, mousus. <laughs> The upshot of this, house lovers, is that this jawbone is in fact the jawbone of a possum. And as you saw in the footage, there is a lot of bones under the floor. When I first found the bones, I assumed it was a possum. I was very glad to find out that was the case because other alternatives, let's just say, were not that pleasant to contemplate. As this is going to be our en suite, perhaps we should christen it the possum suite. We could even commission a piano piece called the Possum Suite, which the good doctor can play on his very large grand piano. <laughs> of course, the question still remains quite how these possums got under this floor when there is perhaps five centimeters of space between the soil level and the floorboard, or perhaps these rats are particularly strong and were able to drag the corpse back into the family nest and slowly devour it over some time. Charming thoughts, all of them. There we are, house lovers. The stinky kitchen turned out to be the happy hunting ground of many a possum in this street. Curiously enough, there are still lots of possums in the area. You can hear them and see them in the trees out the front. I wonder if they're direct descendants of the dearly departed who were under the floorboards of the stinky kitchen. And perhaps that explains why that kitchen was particularly stinky. There we are, house lovers. Thank you once again for watching my humble episode. And thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thanks for asking a question or leaving a comment. A question I probably can't answer because I am a rank amateur struggling my way through the journey of home and house restoration. But nonetheless, take care. Thank you very much. And I will see you next week.